Well, 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 I did not expect my last video to blow up the way that it did. So I want to say thank you. Thank you to all my new subscribers. Thank you to all my new followers. Um, I really do appreciate you. Thank you for showing so much love on that video. So a lot of the time I do film content and I don't release it. Um, and I don't know why. And so one day I was checking on my um, iMovie where I edit my videos and I realised that this video is actually freaking sick like why did I not release that video and so I put a snippet of it on Instagram and I said to people do you actually want to see this and everybody was like yes 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 need to see it and so lo and behold I put it out last week and it has done amazingly well and one of the dangers of having a really good video is that you have to try your hardest to follow it up but I'm not going to try and do that I'm just going to continue to make genuine inspirational content for you guys to help you guys make you guys feel empowered and things like that and that's who I've always been. Okay, so in this video, we are going to be talking about ladies, do not be desperate. Let's go. So I was talking to my friend the other day and we was actually having a conversation about feminism. And he said to me, one of the reasons that men earn more than women in the workplace is because typically men don't take the first offer. He said to me that he earns twice as much as someone that does the same job as he does why because when they scouted him for a job he was actually in a really good job that he enjoyed he did not see the need to move and so they offered him a certain amount and he refused it he actually refused it three times until the offer was right and he said to me every guy knows you don't take the first offer offered to you duh that sounds wise right that makes sense but it hit me that does not only apply to jobs, it also applies to everything in life, even relationships. You get in life what you accept. Nobody is forcing you to say yes. You get in life what you accept. That's not your boss's problem. That is your problem. And how can this apply to relationships? You don't always have to say yes to the first guy that shows attention to you. Yes, he may be better than your ex. Yes, he may have his own place. Yes, he may drive a car that you could only dream of driving. That does not mean that that guy is the best for you. One of the differences between men and women is that men do keep their options open when it comes to dating. And I guess I'm having a slight change of heart when I say that women should only date one man. And I'm of the understanding now that women we typically put all of our eggs in one basket men generally put their eggs in different baskets and see which one cracks first sees which one they are actually more interested in and so i am opening myself up to multiple dating and let's be correct when a woman says she's dating multiple people why do people always assume that she is sleeping with each and every one of them guys can date multiple people but when a woman dates multiple people it's assumed that she's sleeping with them why does a woman have to be a hoe because she's dating multiple people i think it's very very important and i was at a wedding the other day i was speaking to a girl and she's married she's been married for five years she's got two kids and she said to me one of the dating advice that she would give me is to date around date different people see what your options are see what is available get to know different types of people i always say this dating is about data collection and i saw a meme the other day and it said yes i'm single but if you see me with someone shh, mind your business i'm doing interviews <laughs> and i was like yes energy 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 it's true do your interviews don't settle don't just settle for whoever comes to you first i digress but what is the reason why we do settle for the first thing it's genuinely because we fear that nothing better will come along if we think about it if you search your heart your deepest fear is that you won't find anyone your deepest fear is that you will be 80 with 10 cats sitting in your house rocking backwards and forwards like no one found me i'm alone like babes <laughs> chill out that's not true and it's not going to happen is that not the same reason you accepted that first offer job fear most of what we do in life comes from two places a place of faith or a place of fear and sadly most of us live in this place. Fear says, let me grab it before it goes. Let me do this because you never know. Let me have this baby with this deadbeat man because I'm pushing 30 and I still have not found my husband. Faith says, don't run for that overcrowded, uncomfortable bus because in five minutes, there will be another one more comfy, more fitting 
for you. And I may not see it now, but I choose to believe it's coming. Fear believes in scarcity. Faith, on the other hand, believes in abundance. And fear, unfortunately, will keep you crippled. Faith, on the other hand, will keep you optimistic. Always looking on the bright side of life. Faith says, my cup is half full. Fear says, my cup is half full empty and sometimes when we think of the word faith we feel like it exists in a vacuum you see faith as something that is airy fairy but the truth is faith has a lot of foundations it has a lot of roots the bible describes faith in this way now faith is the assurance of what we hope for and the certainty of what we do not see again we walk by faith and not by sight we walk by what we believe and not what we see because sometimes what we believe and what we see are opposite to each other sometimes what we see is a desert but whatever you believe is what you'll see yes we may believe in the invisible but there's a knowing in your hearts and that knowing comes from a place too do you believe that god has good plans for your life do you believe that god's plan is to prosper you and not to harm you if you do you'll know like jesus said if you ask god for a fish will he give you a stone do you believe god is out here trying to trick you like yes you can have it psych just kidding and remember this right living comes from right believing if you believe wrong you will live wrong and most of the desperation in our life comes from unbelief we jump into relationship with bums because we believe that that's all there is you think i'm getting older and i'm just gonna settle because i don't see anything better coming and i don't believe i'll get what i want well you said it and guess what's coming into your life everything you don't want but everything you think you deserve you will get in life what you believe you deserve in life you will get in life what you accept from life now back to the analogy of the job offer and it really had me thinking is there really such thing as a pay rise or a bonus or a promotion or are they just giving you what they thought you were worth that you didn't actually accept or ask for in the beginning are they just getting closer to what they believe you were worth in the beginning think about it think about it my sisters my beloveds never settle for less because you refuse to ask for more and we as women and i say typically non-confrontational we don't want to shake the boat we don't want to ruffle feathers we don't want to overstep and we really don't want to trouble others and i don't know about you guys but if i go to a restaurant and the service is not up to par and they ask me for my feedback best believe i'm gonna give them my genuine honest feedback my mama taught me how to complain and i complain very very well <laughs> if my fries are cold i'm gonna tell them to send it back if they bring me the wrong order i'm gonna tell them i don't want that if my food arrives 45 minutes late I'm going to tell them to take it off the bill. Why? Because as a restaurant, you have a service to uphold. They aren't doing anything more than they should when they provide a good service. Your service is supposed to be excellent. That's what you base your business model around. Excellent customer service. So if I'm not happy, you need to change it. And the thing is, you don't have to be rude about it. I'm not rude about it. And people are probably thinking, oh, a bit feisty. I don't know if I could do that. But I'm going to need you guys to understand. Asking for what you want and refusing what you don't want is not rude. It is your right as a human being, as a customer in a restaurant, as a person in a relationship. People genuinely think that if you refuse a certain treatment, you're being rude. No, sis, you're just exercising your God-given right to choose. More of us need to be a bit more choosy when it comes to treatment. When you don't stand up for what you want in life, guess who loses? Not anybody else. You do. Now, going back to the restaurant analogy, if something is below standard, you have the right to complain without fearing that they're going to call you a or they're going to spit in your food. Like I was at a restaurant the other day and the guy came around and was like, oh, is everything okay and i was like well the chips are cold um the burger's cold and he was like oh i'm i'm very sorry about that and then my friend was like but thank you though it was it was nice though and i'm just like um okay why did you feel the need to actually pet him he actually asked me how was the food do you want me to lie <laughs> should i lie <laughs> should i now lie he asked me how the food was and i said to be honest it was cold and he said, I'm so sorry about that. Um, I'm going to give you a hot chocolate. I said, fine. Thank you. She goes to me, oh, be careful. He doesn't spit in your hot chocolate. I'm like, what? 
I don't live in that place of fear. That is too exhausting for me to live in a place that says, if I complain, what if, what if they leave me? What if they, what if they don't love me? No, babes. Know your value. Know what you deserve. Know the respect that you're supposed to be given as a human being, first of all. <laughs> and like I said, you teach people how to treat you by what you accept. Simple. And to be honest, that is all I wanted to say. But my motivation for this video was basically, um, as I do, looking around on social media, particularly the shade room, and just seeing how women are settling for being baby mama number two, baby number number three, baby number four, baby number five, baby number six, baby number seven. Are you crazy? <laughs> what is happening to women these days? Women are settling for men that cheat on them, that embarrass them publicly. Women are settling for being a man's side piece because they're getting material benefits. Women are accepting engagement rings from guys they've only known for five days. What is going on, lady? Where is our stand? Standards. Where is our standards, ladies? I know you want to be loved, baby girl. We all want to be loved, I promise you. But what are you willing to give in exchange for that love? What are you willing to sell? Are you willing to give up your dignity, your self-worth, your self-value as a woman? For what? Trust and believe me, it's all smoke and mirrors. It's not what it looks like. And a lot of women who are living for the approval of the gram, in 10 years time, they're going to look back and they're going to realise that they've made the biggest mistake of their life and they cannot change it. They are stuck with the choices that they have made. And to my young girls watching, specifically in your teens or your 20s, I know it may look fun to act all ratchet, to be in dysfunctional, drama-filled relationships, but one day, you're going to be old. Hello, wake up call. One day, you're going to be old, and you're going to reap everything you've sown in your younger years. And do you know how that's going to taste? Bitter. Always remember, young choices become adult problems and i feel like the devil's plan every day is for you to sell your future to buy your present and it's happening every single day people are making permanent decisions based on temporary emotion and ladies as i close if you don't want to be desperate you're going to have to learn the beautiful virtue of patience delayed gratification let nobody lie to you it takes a while to build a life that is beautiful. It takes a while to build a house that is beautiful on a rock. It takes literally no time to build a house on sand. But guess which one will stand the test of time? Definitely not the sand. Definitely not the one built on sand. Ladies, have faith in your patience. Have faith in the right timing. Have faith in God. Believe he has the best for you. Know he has the best for you. And live like that. Don't accept everything that first comes to you. Learn to say no. In 2019, we are learning to say, actually, no. Actually, no. Actually, I deserve better than this. Actually, I'm good. You gotta learn to say, like, future, I'm good, love, enjoy. Like... <laughs> I don't like Future, by the way. He's a bad example as a man, but he's a funny example. <laughs> but I'm praying, ladies, that this year will be a beautiful year for you guys. We are leveling up. We are knowing our worth. We are knowing our value. We're not settling for less. We're saying no. We're being choosy. We're being picky. So please, if you will be so kind, like this video. When you like this video, you share it. The only reason a lot of you saw my last video is because people were liking, 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 liking. And when you like, it shows YouTube that this is actually content worth watching. And so everybody else gets to see it. So continue to like. Please subscribe. Check out my Instagram. Follow me on Instagram if you're not already. Thank you guys so much for my new Instagram followers. I'm almost on 100k, which was my goal for the end of this year. So I thank you guys so much. I pray I won't let you down and I'll be the best that I can for you. Please remember to like and share this video and um, let people know that we're not settling in 2019. I don't know about you guys, but I'm so excited for 2019. It's just a mindset. Once you change your mind, your life will change, babes. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, change your mind, change your life. Change your mind, change your life. You think you need better this or better this or new this or new that or whatever. You just need a new mind. When you go into the new year, 
with a new mind, things will change. Your life will never be the same. But if you go into the new year with an old mind, best believe you're going to repeat the same mistakes of 2018. Trust me. So guys, I love you guys so much. Stay tuned to my Instagram. I'm going to have an announcement for a dope event for January. It's Follow me on Snapchat as well. And I love you guys so much. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Five, four, three, two, one. Let go. Level up, 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 level up. All this on me so yummy. All this on me so yummy. All this on me so yummy. No, you want this yummy? Yummy, oh yeah.